And now it's time for our daily arts and culture segment with our Yi Tae Ho, and he joins us live in the studio. Good afternoon to you, Tae Ho. Good afternoon. Well, the weather is a little bit gloomy and it's getting us down, but I hear you have a very interesting and innovative performance festival to tell us all about. Well, if the weather is bringing you down just a little bit, here are here is a, some news about a wonderful uh, festival that provides some breathtaking performances from performing groups from around the world. The 2013 Seoul Performing Arts Festival is in full swing in the Taeyangno area of Seoul. Performances by homegrown artists and world-class companies from around the globe are currently taking place. The United States, France, Japan and China are just a few of the countries that have come together here in Korea to provide both single company and collaborative performances between performers from the different nations. In total, there will be 19 fantastic venues with a total of 21 companies from seven nations coming together to provide the audience with spectacles of theater, dance and multi-genre productions. The theme for this year's festival is Surrealism versus Reality, and the aim is to inspire a new era of creativity in the performing arts among aspiring and working artists here in Korea. Surrealist productions from France and multimedia theater groups from the United States have been invited to hopefully usher in and break through the existing imbalance of realist theater and conceptual dance in the Korean performing arts scene. There will also be satellite events throughout the festival period. One such event is a symposium with artists who are dealing with the difficulties of working in the performing arts scene, not just here in Korea, but around the world. The 7th Annual Seoul Dance Collection and Connection and the 10th Annual Young Critics Award Ceremony will also be held in conjunction with the festival. The festival is being held in the Taeyangno area of Seoul and will run through the 26th of October. Uh, so it definitely seems like uh, this is a really a great festival of uh, different performances, performing arts uh, from all across the world and uh, it's a great opportunity to exchange culture across borders. Of course, and that is one of the major goals of Korea currently. For instance, the symposium that was held was uh, reserved first and foremost for performers already in the industry, and it provided a very nurturing environment where uh, the promotion of exchange of ideas was really promoted. But you know, I, I'd like to have seen more uh, younger generation of choreographers perhaps taking part in the symposium. Well. The Seoul Dance Collection competition was strictly for emerging choreographers. They went through a strict selection process through a judging panel who have offered advice, of course, and they presented their works during the festival itself, and the winner was provided the chance to participate in a long-term residency as well as international workshops. So it was a little bit of everything for everybody. Well, you know, they say October is really a month of, you know, replenishing yourself with uh, all these cultural activities and definitely like a festival that we should check out this month. Now, but I hear there's even more going on. Exactly. Now, if you're getting down a little bit in this fall weather, here's your chance to check out some wonderful uplift, uplifting exhibitions all around Seoul. The most beautiful colors can be found in flowers, and that is why Parisian artist Michel Henri has devoted his life's work to the source of those colors, flowers. Henri has been called the great colorist, and 40 of his works have been flown into Korea and are being showcased at the Seoul Art Center. These are works that make the background seem far off, yet the flowers that are closest to us seem so real that one could reach out and touch them. And heading north to the Noongu area of Seoul is the brand new extension of the Seoul Art Museum, Puk-Seoul, which literally means North Seoul. As you step into the museum, you are welcomed by figures hanging from the ceiling that seem alive as they receive life from the sunshine that streams throughout the museum. This is just one of many special exhibitions on display for the opening of the brand new venue. The museum is a timeline of Korean art as works from the past, as well as more current works are on exhibit from the ground up to the second floor. And lastly, a group of talented young artists are exhibiting their work in the Shinza neighborhood of Seoul at the Gallery Planet. The title of the exhibition is Art of the Straight Line, and the exhibition features paintings, photos, and sculptures. Make sure to check out the works of a brand new generation of up-and-coming young artists. 
So, you know, there's a little bit of everything for everyone, those who enjoy conventional uh, art pieces, to those who uh, enjoy modern pieces. Exactly. Um, it's a great way to experience the difference in perception through the ages, whether uh, from the younger generation or from past generations, and it really offers a different perspective by seeing different exhibitions as well. Definitely so. All right. Thank you so much for today, Teho, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. All right.